Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, welcome to Hewers Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Land. I will be walking you through third grade science and technology. And today we're going to try to cover the content on page number 134 of your workbook over there. So if you've got your workbook in your hands, please go ahead and turn to page number 134. If not, you're welcome just to watch on the board. The content's going to be there in front of you as well. So this is week number 35 of the curriculum, and we are going to be talking about forms of energy today. Okay, have you heard the term energy before? Yes, I believe, yeah, that's correct. So you've heard the term about energy. Energy, okay? What is energy? Well, energy is the ability to do work. Ability to do work, okay? That's what energy is. So you're trying to play sports right now, and you're going around and playing a basketball, you're kicking a soccer ball all around your backyard or something like that. Guess what? You got energy to do that. If you don't have energy and your brother comes around and says, let's play basketball, you're going to say, well, I don't feel like playing because I'm just weak all over. Why? No energy, no ability to do work. So we got to study about those different concepts of energy, so those different abilities to do work. Why? Because there are different kinds of work to be done. There are mechanical works to be done. There is electrical work to be done. And guess what? All those things are going to require different forms of energy. So what are the different types of energies that we can have? So we can do different kinds of works. All right. So there is mechanical energy. Mechanical energy. Ah, there's mechanical energy. <laughs> Got to understand that. There is heat energy. Heat energy, what's that about? I'm going to tell you. There is electrical energy. Electrical energy. There is chemical energy. All right. There is nuclear energy. All these are different forms of energies because all these are different kinds of works that need to be done. Under the mechanical category, we can have kinetic energy and potential energy. What is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy. Well, kinetic energy is going to be like a flying ball, for example. So if you kick your soccer ball, well, that ball is going to be flying in the air. Guess what? That ball in motion has a ton of energy. He has enough ability to potentially smash your light bulb or something like that. Yeah, he can do that. If you kick that ball up in the ceiling over there, and boom, it, it lands on your light bulb, it crashes into the chandelier, it can break something, <laughs> all right? It has energy. It has ability to do the work of breaking your light bulb, <laughs> if you were to kick it. It's called kinetic energy. It's the energy of objects in motion, okay? What about potential energy? So potential energy is going to be like your chair sitting on the floor, all right? Well, that chair sitting on the floor has energy to it as well. Well, if you place your chair, for example, on your uh, coffee pot or something like that, or a coffee cup, you know, it can break that cup like that. Well, that chair has potential energy. He has the ability to make you sit on it. So you may weigh like 50 pounds or 60 pounds or something like that. And well, you want something to hold you up. Well, the chair has the potential energy to hold you up. So potential energy is going to be uh, energy of objects that are static, that are not in motion. So that's potential energy for you. Kinetic energy will be energy of objects in motion, in flight. All right. What about heat energy? So heat energy is going to be things like your fire over there. Well, guess what? The, the fire from the stove can cook a meal. 
What's the work that you want done? Well, you want to cook a meal. Well, that's a work that needs to be done. Guess what? We are going to get heat energy to do that work for us. What about electrical energy? Electrical energy is going to be needed for literally everything we do right now. It's going to be needed for your computer computers. It's going to be needed for the lights bulb over there. So you will want to do the work of illuminating this room right now. Well, that's an electrical work that we need to do. We're not going to get mechanical energy to do that. We need electrical energy to do that. What about chemical work? Well, chemical work is going to be things like, you know, the energy that you get from potentially uh, the stored foods that we eat. So the food that we eat over there will give us like energy in our bodies. That is chemical work going on. What about nuclear? Well, nuclear, sometimes they use nuclear energy to generate electricity, and they get that energy by splitting certain particles, splitting particles, nuclear particles at the microscopic level, and nuclear energy comes out of there which is very, very, very delicate. So we don't play a lot with nuclear energy. But all these different forms of energy can get you grounded, give you an overview of what energy is all about. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. Why do we need to have different forms of energy? Because there are different kinds of works that we need to do. We want to do mechanical work, we want to do uh, electrical work, we want to do chemical work. All those different forms of energy, different forms of works, will require different forms of energies, okay? Uh, there is sound energy, there is solar energy, and all those different energies that we talked about. Please go ahead and turn to page number 136 and page number 137. You are going to see additional details over there um, of all the different forms of energies that we talked about today. All right, I want to thank you for joining me today, boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 